Hello, happy Saturday. It's the weekend, it's Saturday night. Paul is West for UK here and welcome to today's Game of Day video. Now today's game is a game I've never ever heard of called Gregory Horror Show for the PlayStation 2. So let's have a look at this one. So we've got our English, Frank and Germany settings here. So let's go for English. Uh, let's go for 50 hertz because that's what we normally do on Game of Day. Yep, we will just... Uh, Yep, do that. And uh, yeah, so this is 2001 Naomi uh, Iwaita, is that? The game I've never heard of before, so uh, this is, I've got no idea. Oh, it's Capcom, I didn't realise that. But this is a Gregory Horror Show Soul Collector, whatever that is. So 2001, so let's start the game. So this is obviously a horror game. So let's have a look at the options here. So we've got 2D style, 3D style, vibration. Let's just go for just some basic options that you come to expect. So let's go for a new game. Hope everyone's having a nice Saturday. And let's have a look at this one. Okay, so the first night is in Gregory's house. So let's have a look. Like I said before, I've never heard of walking through, walking through a, a deep forest, forest in a thick fog. How did, How did I, I get, get here? here? I should have been, been home by now. now. Suddenly, I saw a bright light before me. It was the hotel. Do you need a room for the night? My, my. You certainly do look exhausted, don't you? Well then, I'll get a room. Let's just skip past that because it's game of day. Okay, so yeah, we got our entry name here. I'm just gonna put Paul because I know Paul is the best for UK will not fit. You can already tell by the amount of things available. So let's go for start, a mail, and uh, let's just start right again. This way if skip the animations. Let's just skip all the cutscenes and let's try and get into the game here. I have no idea what to expect. Right, okay, so I seem to have a square head for some reason. Okay, so let's have a look. So, oh, we can walk around. That's quite a nice shadow effect, isn't it? It like sort of realistic shadow effect there. You've got a candle over here. It looks like I can read a book here. Yeah, okay. It looks like I can use this to store books and items. Let's go through the door. He's got a very square head, isn't he? Right. Okay, so let's have a look through. Oh, it's quite spooky, actually. Quite a quite a vibe to it. I'm going to show up a minute so you can listen to the atmosphere and uh, get yourself in the mood for the atmosphere. So yeah, you can sort of appreciate the atmosphere of the game. It's like sort of as a Resident Evil almost vibe to it with the uh, ambient music and stuff. Yeah, kind of spooky actually. Kind of eerie, if you like. So every single door is locked, so I don't know where I'm going to progress. Oh, we've got, we found a not locked door here. I quite like the atmosphere of it. It's quite uh, quite unnerving, actually. Right, okay, let's go up this way. Right, we found another open door here. Hmm, seems to be walking around in circles. I don't know what this is based on. Obviously, a, an actual character called Gregory. Uh, maybe a cartoon series, I'm not sure. 
By peeking through a keyhole you can see into a room. We'll try that. on the counter in the lobby and bring it here. Okay, so go we got to go lobby. to the lobby. Just go straight. And... Fair enough, let's try that. So the lobby, as this sign says, is left. Probably through this door. door the cat that inhabits that room is the last remnant of a family that once caused us a great deal of trouble a most dangerous cat indeed he was once a beautiful creature with fine silky fur then one stormy night long ago someone sewed everything shut eyes oh what a horrible thing since then, he's been a nasty beast that attacks anyone who draws near. As the manager of this hotel, I simply cannot allow you to have that key. Well then, I guess it's about time I made the rounds of the hotel. Hopefully this guy is going to uh, leave the room so I can grab the key. Unless he's got the key on his person. That's my theory anyway. So let's wait for him to go. Yep. Okay. So let's have a look. See if we can find that key in the desk or something. Let's have a quick look. Okay. So the action button isn't doing anything. Oh, hold on. Yes, look at that. We got the key. So now let's come back to the uh, where we was before and let's see if we can open that door. What a cool game, actually. I quite like this. This is fun. This is like a horror game, but it's got a certain vibe and atmosphere to it. I quite like this. This door is locked. Okay, so we've got to try and find our way back to where we was earlier. I think it was. I can't remember which way, which direction we was going actually. Was it down here? Oh, someone's here. That's kind of cool. The NPCs uh, have got their own uh, minds as well, which is kind of cool for a game of this age. Yay, there we go. Look at that. I've opened the door. Neko Zombie. Do you think I'm scary? I don't need your sympathy. The guests in this hotel are planning to keep you trapped here for all eternity. Yes. So they're not going to give up their souls that easily. So... You have to know their weak points if you want to get those souls back. First, you've got to scope out their weak points without them noticing. Now we'll practice peeking. Go out into the hall and look through the keyhole. you about my weak point. Yes, my 
my weak point is food. You'll have to figure out on your own what my favorite food is. Well, I don't know about you, but this is kind of eerie and kind of spooky. So, yeah, th yeah this is uh, a very uh, nuts game, if I'm honest. It's, it's sort of crazy. Uh, I don't remember this one. Do you remember this one back in the day? Did it freak you out? It's, it's kind of... It, it's got a good eerie atmosphere to it. And uh, for that note, I'm going to give this one a massive 9 out of 10. It does, like, sort of have that atmosphere to it. And, uh, yes... One I never tried back in the day, I never even heard of it until today, so yes, it's one, probably one for the uh, collection on the PlayStation 2, so uh, thank you for watching, have a pleasant Saturday evening, I hope you like that one, um, I only really do game a day so you can see what the game looks, looks like, so uh, yes, thank you for watching, have a pleasant evening, and I'll see you in the next video, I'm going to get some pizza and beer now, so uh, goodbye!